Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. This is the third in a series of Microsoft Word tutorial videos that I'm creating. In the last one, I um, pasted the Declaration of Independence onto the document. Um, I added a line of text here at the top, which I'm going to be removing in just a minute. And then I actually added the word declaration and turned it into a larger kind of a heading. And in this one, I'm going to show you a few more little things you can do. So for starters, I showed you how to highlight um, a section of text by clicking and holding the mouse and moving it left or right to highlight the, deck, the code. And as I said, anything you do to the highlighted text will be done to all the highlighted text. So if I hit the delete key now, it deleted all of the text I had highlighted. So let's check this out. Let's, uh, I'm going to highlight the declaration of end of, or the word declaration. Now notice I did so by not dragging across it, but by double clicking it. If I double click any word, it highlights that word. If I click it a third time, one, two, three, it highlights the whole paragraph. So this can be very helpful to you later if you need to highlight a paragraph. You know all you gotta do is click a word three times and it does. And uh, if I do it a fourth time, it just comes back to that word. So let's say I want to highlight the declaration and let's, uh, actually let's click at the end of declaration and put of independence and let's uh, go ahead and click three times on declaration so it does the whole thing and now I'm going to show you how to bold this little B right here will bold anything that's highlighted which means that it'll make it stand out a little more like that if I click it again with the anything that's highlighted will unbold and this is important because if I bold this line and then I just click this word and I unbold, it only unbolds that word, not the whole line, because I didn't have the whole line done. Now, I've got it all bolded again. The second letter here is an I. It stands for italic. And if I click it, everything that's highlighted becomes italicized, which means it's leaning. I click it again, it's standing straight up. Now it's leaning to the right. U stands for underline. That was self-explanatory, but when I click it, it puts a line under it. So that's uh, pretty much all there is to bold, italics, and underline. And in the next segment, I'll show you how to center and stuff like that. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. Like I said, I'm keeping them under three minutes. And I'll see you in the next one. 